Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. I had a request in my inbox here the other day um, about how to set up flight modes uh, on the DX8 and DX9 for the uh, NASA, DJI NASA uh, with GPS and the question was when you have sort of on the flight mode system you have uh, GPS mode, you have altitude mode and you have normal mode and to be able to calibrate the GPS you need to have the endpoints on your radio to meet for the GPS mode and the normal mode that means when you switch 11 times it will go into calibration mode but then you need to have it on the normal mode. Some of uh, the ones that I know, they use uh, uh, on a three-point switch here, like this one. Uh, they have GPS mode on uh, top, and they have altitude mode, and they have fail-safe on the last one. Uh, what you can do, you can mix uh, this button with another button on the radio, so that you will have a four-point switch. That means that you can have all the uh, modes on one plus one switch. That means GPS mode, altitude mode, normal mode and failsafe. On the uh, DJI Phantom you have the failsafe by turning, on, uh, turning off your transmitter. Uh, I really don't like turning off the transmitter because if you make a flight and you feel okay now it's way too far I can't see where it is so you put it to fail safe and return to home when you are locked in on the GPS of course and it will come back again but when I tried this um, I sort of I can turn on the radio again but saving me time and saving binding time I would like to have the fail safe or a return to home mode on another switch or on the same switch of course so what I did uh, also at the first uh, that I skipped the normal mode because after calibrating I went back into the program and I set it so that I had GPS altitude mode and return to home but then again I can't calibrate the, uh, the hexacopter uh, before I have set the transmitter back again. And another little thing about the G, uh, DJI NASA is when you are setting up uh, the, your endpoints on your radio, let's say on the flight modes, you need to trim the endpoints uh, in uh, servo adjustment so that the feel you want to use, let's say the GPS feel, uh, is blue when the uh, button is all the way up and blue for, for, uh, for saying uh, the normal mode when you put the button all the way down. In the center mode if you can't hit the spot in the center that means altitude mode then you use sub trim on this channel to make sure that the, uh, the, the field is a little blue. I'm going to show you on the computer uh, in just a moment. So what I'm, going to do, uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you how to mix one button with another so that you get a four point switch and you don't have to turn off your transmitter. Uh, it's an easy way to, to do it, especially on the DX9 and I guess there are many ways to do this but this is the way that I uh, find easiest for me so I have GPS mode, altitude mode and normal mode on this button and the fail safe on this button quite easy so now I will show you I'm going to hook up the hexacopter to the computer and we'll take it step by step Okay, make sure that you have 
choose the model and you have uh, set up and bind your quad or hexacopter and as you can see I'm in the servo adjustment system and on the travel you see that the aux tree that is the channel I have chosen for um, the flight mode switch I have set uh, the bottom at 87 and at the top at 87 and the bottom at 86 and if I go to sub trim like this you can see that I have set the sub trim for the aux tree channel at plus 15 okay this will give me the right spots on the uh, the setup program I'm going to show you right now okay we're in the TX calibration mode here you have command sticks calibration you have sticks monitor and you have control mode switch so we are actually going to talk only about the control mode switch but I can tell you that the X2 channel on my DJ NASA controller I have set for the course lock modes as you can see here and the X1 I can use for example for gain and or for controlling uh, even uh, the, the brushless gimbal so anyway uh, we will get back to how to set these for the right um, for the right uh, tasks here you can see that the GPS is lit up like blue and when I move my three point switch down I go to the altitude mode and the manual mode and what I don't have here now is the failsafe and I really really want the failsafe on a switch so I don't have to turn off my radio uh, I used the turn knob for this um, why? don't ask I just put it on the turn knob I can put it on any switch that I like so if I turn the turn knob about a quarter of a turn around you see it goes in failsafe but this is only when the Jeep it's in a GPS mode why because the return to home function doesn't work if you don't have if you're not locked into right amount of GPS so if I go back now to altitude mode it will go to the altitude mode and on the manual mode but when I flick the three point switch all the way back to GPS it goes into failsafe because the turn knob is a quarter turn around so I'm going to turn the turn knob back again like that and it's set on GPS but what I can do now I can go back to the mixing program I'm going to show you and I'm going to put the the failsafe mode onto the button H which I usually use for throttle cuts on larger airplanes and helicopters and I'm going to show you how to do that okay but first here you have the autopilot here you have an opportunity to tell what the X1 and X2 channel on your controller should do and as you see here the basic gain on my pitch roll and yaw are and remote adjust are inhib uh, inhibited but you can press here and then you can choose X1 or X2 I haven't done that yet because my radio is pretty new so I'm going to do it later but then again uh, I'm going to set down my jaw a little bit because uh, it's very very annoying I'll set it on one 15 like that and then I write it and it's not red anymore okay now I have done what I should have done many days ago anyway so as you can see I have put the X2 for the intelligent orientation control system so the X2 can uh, X2 can be the uh, aux 2 channel on my receiver and I've chosen to use 
the letter E on the on the switch and as you can see on top it's off and in middle course lock and on the bottom it's home lock also so what you want to do now press the scroll button go down to mixing and as you can see I already mixed aux 3 channel with the aux 3 channel and I'm using the uh, right the knob R for uh, the settings but we are going to change it now to the kill switch um, which is easier to get uh, to with your fingers so we just press the mix one and here you can see I have set the rate for 49 this is the number that makes that the failsafe lit up like blue so that the cursor comes right between uh, uh, the modes uh, and we're going to put it on the uh, switch edge like this and now we can try the switch for the program and it goes straight to failsafe so as easy as, as, easy as that uh, nothing more you have to do just go back so now we have mixed the aux 3 channel with the aux 3 channel but we have just given it another uh, switch to play with so now we have the four settings we have GPS, we have altitude mode, we have manual mode and we have failsafe mode quite easy